Good evening. Welcome to St. Clara of Assisi Parish. As a family of faith, we call to mind Tom Love, Lucy Grasso, Aria Rose Cressman, and Jim Amorabella. As we pray this Eucharist for all the people of God. Today we recall Christ's ascension to his Father in heaven. Before he left, he promised his disciples that he would be with them always. Indeed, the Lord is with us when we gather in his name as we listen to the word of God and as the bread and wine are consecrated and received. Let us celebrate the assurance that Christ is with us always, now and until the end of time. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your spirit. spirit. I will be with you always until the end of times. It's a great reassurance that our Lord Jesus offered to all of us as we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension that is lifted up is honored and glorified for having done a great job. But he reminds us that we are to cooperate with him, rendering the type of service he rendered to our brothers and sisters so that we too can be lifted up and honored like him in the kingdom of heaven when the time comes. During this Memorial Day weekend, we remember our brothers and sisters offer their lives in order to give us the freedom we enjoy today. We honor them. We remember them because they have never died in vain. May the Lord grant them a peaceful rest in his kingdom and protect all his people here on the face of the earth. May he give a healing touch to all those who are affected and infected by the COVID-19 pandemic. As we prepare to celebrate this great Eucharist, let us call to mind our own sins.
Lord Jesus, you are the eternal Son of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, your presence fills the entire universe. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you guide us home with you into the bright glory of your kingdom in heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. with your holy joys, almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ your Son is our own exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen, he presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord.
us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe? In accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in heaven, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things in the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus approached 
and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go out therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to resolve all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to celebrate the great feast of the Ascension, which we normally celebrate on Thursday. Now this year being a special one, we gather together to celebrate it on the seventh Sunday of Easter. It's a great day. When the Lord Jesus calls all of us to come together and hear the instructions he wants to give to us. Jesus is the head of the church, the head of the family, giving his advice to us, the members of this great family of the church. He wants us to continue carrying out the work that he has done. And he wants us to do it the way he has instructed us to. He did a great job within only 33 years. But above all else, the three years of his public ministry. He taught by what he said, by what he did, and by who he was. Tonight is commissioning all of us to go out and make disciples of all nations. To make disciples for him, not for any one of us. He calls us to baptize him using the great Trinitarian formula we use in our church all the time when baptizing. But we do not baptize in our own names, but we baptize in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. He also calls on us to teach all the people who win for Christ Jesus, that they may absorb all the teachings he has presented before us. He commissions us to go out to become great witnesses, as we hear in the first reading. Not just people who talk about his words, but people who put into action the words that our Lord Jesus has presented to us. After spending 40 days until Ascension Thursday, which day may be like 43 days, he gave a great instruction as to how his disciples should carry out the church's work. He says in order to be effective, we need to be open to the power of the Holy Spirit that is coming to guide us in this great ministry, in this great apostle. Says this great ministry has to be marked by a great sense of humility, a great sense of gentleness, a great sense of living our life according to our high calling. 
calls us to use the different gifts and talents that we have received in order to render service to our brothers and sisters. We are called and sent out to do exactly what Jesus has called us to do. He says the greatest way we can preach his gospel is by being men and women of action, putting our faith into practice. Just as St. James tells us that faith without action is as well as dead. We are called to live an exemplary life so that in and through us people may be able to see the glory of our God. Pope Francis says we should be spirit-filled evangelizers so that our words and actions can become a witness to all God's people that our Lord Jesus has truly been exalted, has been honored, has been glorified in the heavenly kingdom, that is always with us because he wants to take us where he himself has gone. As we prepare for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, that we shall celebrate on the Feast of Pentecost, which is next Sunday. We need to pray constantly, saying, Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. That fire that was given us on the day of our confirmation has to be kept to burn brightly has to strengthen us, give us the courage to stand strong even during moments of the greatest opposition we may face. It tells us never to be afraid because we are not preaching our own gospel. We are preaching his gospel, the gospel he has handed over to us. As we spend more time in our families, during this great pandemic. I call on us to have some special moments of conversation about our faith with our family members. To pray together as a way of practicing our faith. There may be opposition from even some of our family members, some challenge. Those are bound to happen. That's why the Lord cautions us never to be afraid. Let's continue to witness that we are strong and courageous to preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus. We are not people who are called to do nothing. We are called to action. He tells us in the houses, not just to look into the clouds, but to go to our different places, to our different events, to our different institutions, different people, and show them that Jesus is right there in their midst, that Jesus is right there in our presence. This is says a time to get up, a time to go, a time to make a motion. Apostleship involves going out reaching out to others. It may be tough to physically reach our brothers and sisters during these trying moments. But the Lord gives us the options even to call the people we love, to talk with them, to give them hope, to give them consolation, to give them comfort, to give them encouragement. We have so many gifts and talents that the Lord has given us. We use them all in order to build the body of the church, the body of Jesus. It's a ministry to which all of us have been called. 
to reach out to all the ends of the earth, all the areas that have never been touched by the good news of salvation of our Lord Jesus. In order to do that, we have to begin with our own selves. Let those special areas for our own lives that are lacking as far as our Lord's call is concerned to be enlightened by the gospel. In the way we begin by evangelizing our own selves before we reach out to others. We begin by evangelizing our own families, our domestic churches, so that the virtues we inculcate in our families can also be shown to the greater family of the children of God. We have different characters, different personalities, even within our own small nuclear families. And that's what makes a family what it is. Life will be boring if you are the same character, same personalities. You do the same thing over and over again. Let's look at all those challenges in a positive way as gifts that God has given to each one of us and use all of them to build a greater unity, to bring a spirit of bond among us with our sisters and brothers. Our Lord tells us tonight that it is not enough for us to become Christians. We have to be Christians by the way we witness to the gospel guides. Let's stand strong that we will always be there with us and for us. May he be praised in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We stand and renew our faith by using the shorter Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into her. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. On this joyous day, marking Jesus Christ's return to his Father in heaven, we offer up our own needs and the needs of those around us. For the church, that we continue to carry on the commission Christ gave to his first disciples, preaching, teaching, and baptizing throughout all nations, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. That through the ascension, public servants and all people may have a deeper understanding of the dignity of each and every human person, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. On this Memorial Day weekend, we remember all those servicemen and servicewomen who gave their lives defending our country's safety and freedom. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For our community, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ. We pray. 
Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For family members, all parishioners in the hospital or nursing homes, and those who have been sickened by the coronavirus, that the Holy Spirit may fill, heal, and console them, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died in our parish community and those who have died from coronavirus, that they may ascend into the arms of our loving God, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God in heaven, you raised up your son who now sits at your right hand in glory. Listen to all the prayers we make here on earth and grant them to your son Jesus who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Lord, we offer this sacrifice now in supplication to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. It's truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, who is the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gaze in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and the Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together 
the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his own passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chance. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring us to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Dennis, our Bishop, all the clergy and the religious who accompany us in faith. And remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection. All who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with Mary, the Blessed Virgin Mother of God, with her, spouse, her blessed spouse, Joseph, with the blessed apostles, with St. Clair and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our own days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your own church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, grace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of this world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy to be under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate with divine mysteries, grant we pray that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We have a few announcements. The annual Memorial Day Mass at St. Joseph's Cemetery, scheduled for Monday, May 25th, has been canceled this year because of the pandemic. We are happy to inform you we now have a link on our website, online giving for donations to King's Things and St. Vincent de Paul Society. Their mission is to feed, assist, and clothe the needy. Thank you for considering donating to King's Things and St. Vincent de Paul. The outreach aids with food, shelter, clothing, holiday baskets, and especially now with the pandemic of 2020. All donations are welcomed. Please consider those that are less fortunate with an act of love and kindness. Parish family, we miss you and would love hearing from you. Please let us know if there is anything you may need, spiritually or a helping hand. Kindly leave a message at the parish office and we will reach out to you promptly. Please visit our parish website, Facebook, and the bulletin for current updates. Your ongoing financial support of St. Clair's is greatly appreciated during these challenging times. Thank you all for joining us tonight to celebrate the Feast of Ascension and also honor our sisters and brothers offer their life for our freedoms. We may not be able to gather as we always do, but the Lord Jesus will be with us wherever we are. Let's celebrate and honor all those brothers and sisters. May the Lord continue to bless all of you as we hope for better days to come when all of us will be again together and worship in our churches. God will never and never leave us alone. May God bless all of you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your own lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To God.